Hello everybody, welcome to Blood Bowl Super League. We've got Seabrows up against Bright. Bright has won the toss, chosen to receive. He's in these uh, kind of dark red necromantic here. Seabrows has the uh, dark blue undead team. And Seabrows is, of course, the defending champion. Very amazing. And uh, an interesting matchup, especially for Dimmy G, who will be trying to learn how to play Blood Bowl. Uh, hello, Dimmy. <laughs> hello, Jimmy. And I definitely need to learn how to play Blood Bowl. Uh, I'm going to have this exact matchup tomorrow at some point. So... Mm. I'll be, I'll be, if you don't hear me talking, I'll be scribbling loads of notes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry, I, I meant this matchup, not how to play Blood Bowl, of course. Silly of me. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's how to play Blood Bowl as well, Jim. Sorry. <laughs> Let's not get carried away. Oh, interesting setup. The old frenzy. It's, okay, he has, he has remembered this guy. I wondered if he'd forgotten him and he was just going to leave him to get served turn one. I, of course, would never leave somebody to get served turn one instantly. Against frenzy. <laughs> no, I mean like that that's crazy. Yeah, that would be crazy, Jim. Mm. Not yeah, he's, he's set. Kinda. He's set up to make it harder for the blitzes, but then like Andy, like when Andy plays Necro, he just takes the hits with the wolves on the other worst than he. So yeah, like I'm, I'm looking at maybe even bringing that line forward a bit, just so even the hits on the LOS have got the frenzy follow up. Like yeah, interesting. I've also got a slightly different team from Seabrill. Seabrill has gone for the extra skill package. Um, so he's got two guard mummies. And so that I haven't got any skills on my mummies, but he's got two guard mummies. We both have a guard white and a tackle white. But I've gone for three. Is there any, there's only three ghouls on the pitch. Oh, he's put his rookie ghoul on the bench. Right, okay. Yeah, so I've gone for three block ghouls where he, with this build, you end up with two wrestle ghouls because you can't have like that many block players you can only have three block players and the two oh i was going to call them wraiths whites <laughs> have block to start with so you can't take uh you can't take it on the goals which is so, yeah, i don't mind a wrestle goal it's just having two of them is a bit yeah. overkill he's going to claw them on me here as he turn one he's going to put the fleshy in here and a guard here and another player here and then he's going to hit from I went and chain him in. But then he's he's then basing the uh, oh, he tackle. Could do front. He could do, I don't know why I thought he had to do it that way. He can do it in the front. He can just put the fleshy here. Right? I don't know why I wanted yeah. to go around the back. He can just go on the front, yeah. Maybe it was to mm. defend against him getting hit by this what, this mummy is why I thought of it. But yeah, he's definitely going to put the mummy anyway. Somehow. So, yeah, he gets the power of the wolf. So it'll be interesting because he's... Oh, I guess the wraith is going to hit the goal in the middle. Uh, the oh. oh, he doesn't get the follow up, so that means his wolf is now exposed to a mummy. Yes. Instant mummy 3D. Oh, yes, I prefer keeping the mummy on the edge here. You know what? He might have yeah. to. He might have to tag oh. that mummy with a zombie now, which is problematic as well. It is, isn't it? Yeah. But I think, I think, I think I would do that. I think. I'm not sure. I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's just so going to Yeah. Which again is like, it's very like, I guess clawing a mummy is just that good, right? It's just that good. It is, but you're getting like, the old wolf hit by somebody. Guaranteed. Oh, if you... <laughs> mummy lives! Mummy mm -hmm. lives! So he's going to mummy... blitz this wolf, block this ghoul, and then, uh. Any Chinese. There, there's no guarders there, is there? Maybe he can chain his mummy out a bit. Oh, it's awkward. I, oh, God, I, I'm already dreading it. <laughs> I'm already dreading it. Uh, the ball's in the end zone. Of course, Maybe Div, he just Div will kill your white. You, Div will kill your mummy, though, right? That's yeah. Guaranteed. I'm not going to let him hit mummy. Uh -huh. uh, I mean, do we just go aggro for the ball here? Uh, he can just blitz that zombie and then pile two goals through. Yeah. Stand everything up and then say, "Go on, mate. You just you punch away, and uh, I'll take your ball off you." It's definitely a possibility. I think it's like honestly, make the game about the ball, make it less about the banging, and like, which is weird. I know it sounds so weird as I'm dead, but honestly, the problem is that I think he needs to. Pile, I think he needs to just pile through and put the pressure on, like. But he might, he might just try and fight and win the fight, and I don't know. It's tough, man. 
Winning the fight is the best way to win the game usually, right? Because between two players who are good, this is what I discovered. Um, the person who wins the fight has got a big advantage, haven't they? But, I mean, yeah, but if you look at Seaboard's next turn, his ghoul can only go seven squares, so his ghoul can only get to like the halfway line max. All of his players have gone beyond the halfway line, so I really feel like just get him on the back foot, make it about the ball. He hasn't got the play. I guess, yeah, I guess he's just trying to. Is that like a kettle boiling sure, or something, yeah. or is it just your mic? Sorry, it's my, yeah, it's my um, washing machine. Sorry. Uh, no problem. Yeah, you've got to you've got to blitz the wolf here. I think though, right? right? That's the thing. Like for the same reason as Bright had to blitz the had to blitz the mummy, <laughs> I think you've got to blitz the the wolf here. As much as it would be cool to get a bit of pressure on. Gets the pow. Big pow. Because you can Absolutely always like, try fine. and push through next turn, right? You can always try and push through next turn. Um, like, do you know what I mean? You still try and fight this turn, and then and then try and push through next turn after half of your guys are on their ass because he's knocked them over. Um, then you can at least try and, you know, probably commit even more to fight your next turn. This was the problem that I found versus Andy, right? I was kept trying to do that and then thinking, right, I'll burst through this turn. I never got the chance to burst through because all of my guys were knocked over and I was never able to knock over anybody. But yeah, um, I was always looking to break through. There was just never a chance, you know? But I, I liked that idea of just trying to win the fight, but then get through if you can. Because this is pretty tenuous for the Necro right now. Well, Necro are, like, completely dominating the right side, and they're, they they're losing the left side, and then... He can, so he can move the ball over here, can't he? Which is probably what he should do straight away. Right up to there. Bring this guy over. Do does he need to members. move the ball? Like, does he need to move the ball? Yeah. You wanted to put the pressure on last turn, didn't you? Well, because he hasn't, do I need to move the ball now? Like, it's like... If he'd put the pressure on, then you absolutely have to move the ball. Yeah, but you'd be pushing the, you'd be wanting to put the pressure on because he was out of, because he was out of. Uh, yeah, range position. of like the cage and stuff. Yeah. So, so you'd make it so that that's not that's attractive. It's sad getting your mummy knocked over constantly. It is, yeah. Where Necro absolutely dominating the guard here, four to three, <laughs> but still, it's like it's tough, right? Because their guards are on their only two strong boys for the Necro, so it's kind of easy for the uh, like for the undead. Sorry, so it's easy the Necro to like spread their guard around more and get more hits for everyone. Here we go. That's a huge KO. Mm -hmm. I was not at a tabletop tournament today, Steve. No, I was working. Sad. Can I block a ghoul free? It's quite nice. Oh, the chain, yeah, yeah. Shame he couldn't, uh, you know, chain the wolf off <laughs> to save. Yeah, the wolf, the wolf's a bit of a problem. Maybe, maybe he's going to push the zombie behind and then try two D into frenzy trap. Nope. I mean, you'll blitz. Oh, I guess the frenzy on the wolf on the right. What blitz the goal? Blitz the goal, yeah. There we go, safe move sometimes. It's, uh, <laughs> well, I mean, it was... Uh, this is a uh, two into one, though, with that werewolf on the wrestle. Yeah, he could, he's got this other fleshy right that he could move into here. Oh, what? Uh, here. 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 Oh. 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 Hello, Walter. Hello, Steve. Oh, but so he doesn't. He doesn't. Uh... This is into one date. 
No, it's not. No, he's got two guard. He went up here. He gets wrestled. Oh, yes, not the first. It would have been, yeah, it'd have been 1D if he'd gone this way, but yeah, he can just go that way. He didn't even need to put that guy in, but he did put him in the Oh, because of the wraith. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't see the wraith. <laughs> 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 he's, he's got to dodge this wolf, hasn't he? Has he, is he got wolf. a wraith? I don't know, Jim! <laughs> I don't know! I don't know, Jim! <laughs> no. Here we go, huge three plus. Yeah. Oh, he failed, oh. he's got four rerolls, honestly. You can yeah, re I reroll this because I got four. Yeah, because you got four. If you have three, don't reroll it, but with four, you might as well reroll it because he's your best player, isn't he? Mm, do you know what? Do you know what, Jim? What, Jim? I might be stamping on his head here. Whoa. I might be stamping on his head. What do you reckon? Nah. Me. No. You reckon no? Wow. Reckon Just because of region. No, I, do, well. Do you know what I'd do? Do you know what I'd do, Dimbo? What, what would you do? I'll chain the zombie, the mummy, onto the grave. Yeah. I'll blitz this zombie with my with my ghoul, and then follow. So I'm there, oh, and then block him, him, and then chain him onto there, so you get a punch him, and then kick his head in. <laughs> kick his head in. Bosh. Or you know, do that block first, and and follow, and then and then you could have blitz, blitz with a go one, two, three, four, five. Six. Yeah, hitting the wraith is like way more money than this zombie. Yeah. Way more money. But uh, maybe he's going to try and uh, blitz one of these boys. Because uh, yeah, look, he's got two assists. He's got two assists up here, so he's just going to blitz the freshie. Yeah. GFI blitz. And then he's got a zombie as well to stamp on its head. No, he's not going to GFI blitz. Also, uh, he's going to white blitz him, which is better because that's 75%, isn't it? More like, blocked, a lot more yeah. likely to work. But... Um, no mighty blow, tragically. Well, it's got a mighty boot on that zombie next to him. Mmm. Kill the golem, save the world. Oh, that's it. That sounds a catchy tagline for a TV show. Uh, he's uh, he's not doing it. It's not. Doing is it. this is this zombie played by Hayden Panettiere? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably what she looks like now. <laughs> After <laughs> the heroes <laughs> flopped. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you meant after getting reeled by Klitschko every night. <laughs> oh, right, well, yeah, that too, yeah, yeah. Which one, Vladimir or... Uh, I think Vitaly? it's Vladimir, I think it's Vladimir. Oh, mate, he's like 30 years older than her, isn't he? <laughs> he's a bit older, yeah! I don't she's... know if he's 30 years older. I think she's about the same... Oh, no, she's not the same age as me, is she? She's younger. No, she's like 10. She's not 10. <laughs> she... 35. She's, like... She's 35. And Vladimir's got to be like 50. Uh, Vladimir's 48. 13 Jeez. years, not that bad. Yeah, it's not It's not that bad. And like, he's got like <coughs> generational wealth, hasn't he? Mm. Oh, there's a KO, so we're 10 against 10. Seabors has fought his way back into this. The problem is, is that top side mummy's getting hit again. Instantly. Instantly. These werewolves. These werewolves. Hmm. Both being on the floor is problematic. Problematic. Just quietly, that kill could have been a could have been a wraith. <laughs> Just quietly. Well, you had to roll foul appearance on it, didn't you, Jimbo? True. 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 The emote battle is on. <laughs> the emote battle, let's go. What? Who's Bright's coach? Oh, he's got the uh, Kraken head fella. So he's thought Crack about it. He's thought about it. He's got. He's got Kiroth Kraken eye as his coach, as Bright. Whereas oh. Seabro's always with Creek, isn't he? Opted to put the werewolf on the mummy. Mm. Not sure about that. But it got the got the other one off. It yeah. Got the other dog off. 
I guess he can. Oh, he's already blitzed though, isn't he? What's he gonna do? He's gonna base that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. The ball's got to go back again, isn't it? It's got to go somewhere safer than where mm -hmm. it is. Run away! Run away! <laughs> <clears throat> he can't go. He just can't go up. No, I mean, he he's got. Can't go up. Uh, he doesn't have to go forward, but he like he does. Sorry, he doesn't necessarily have to go backwards, but he, he definitely can't go forwards. Okay, maybe he can. Gets the pal. That mummy has had a miserable half. He's just been <laughs> beaten up. <laughs> yeah. So he can't oh, go. He can't go in the cage. What turn are we on though? Oh. Three. He's sideline caging. Well, at least he's got the uh, the wolf in that square. And then he skulls. Got a reroll. I think he's got four. The, the, the sideline cage is better here, be, like in terms of the werewolf. Like it's protecting the werewolf. Whereas if he did the the actual cage, then he's just gonna hit the werewolf on yeah. the on the corner, maybe. Yeah, I guess. Still, that's it. still. Yeah. But still. Still, Jimmy. It's all like the wolf isn't doing anything here because it's already a six plus in, isn't it? You know, to surf. I think I think Seabros might go for the six plus in to surf. If you're gonna do the six plus, you can do a five plus in the front and then red dice with wrestle. Yeah, but then it'd be. Oh, two what, you mean the six plus and you surf? Yeah. Yeah. You could do two five pluses though. I guess you could do two five pluses and surf. Well, three and then five in the back, and then five in the front. I mean, that's just... We're getting crazy now, Jimmy. Oh, it's Seabros, isn't it? He's a madman. Yeah, but he, he can't score yet anyway, so it's not like... He, he, yeah, just punch the werewolf, kill it. Free yeah. up the guard, run him back. Yeah, punch and, and try and get position is, is better. He's got a lot of people behind the ball. He needs to get them in front of the ball, between the ball and the end zone. Goal side, Jimmy. Um, goal yeah, side or end zone side. side, whatever you want to call it. He's only got four players end zone side, which is not good, is it? It's not great. But he has got a werewolf stuck on a right on a mummy with a wraith. Mm. Yes, that's a lovely, that's a lovely three for one trade. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the problem is he might just get one dice blitzed. I mean, he might at, the, at this point. Bright might have to one d blitz him. Might because two d blitz him actually. He might bring something back. Hard though, it's still early days. Oh, I guess he's still early. What's he got there? Has he got power? He has got power. That's a really nice power. He hasn't right, blitzed yeah. yet, has he? So maybe he's going to blitz the wraith with wrestle. Ooh, maybe not. He's rolled a one. Uh, uh, re rolled no. it! Why not? Well, because you're just going to sidestep here and get served. Was my oh, concern. Dear. <laughs> dodgy, dodgy. Dodgy, dodgy. Um, easy, easy. Oh, did you see Seabro's player names are Super League Champion? <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. He's just named them all Super League Champion for. Yeah. Pretty and that good. That Gollum is now going to be losing that fight with that mummy. Finally, that mummy can punch. Finally. Been dying for it all day. So is he just going to run through here? This is. This is tricky. It's tricky. I think he might wolf blitz, you know. Well, yeah. Wait, wait, which with the wolf on the right <laughs> on the rest of the ball? Is that what you mean? Or... I think maybe this one. Really? Yeah, it's only turn four. Well, he could they... come back. No, he's not. I, I, he I don't. Yeah. I don't... I... Dub oh, skulls. Full pow. Full pow. Yeah, the, the wolf blitz wasn't good there because you lent you let. He end up being in contact, so it makes sense that if you're going to blitz there, you do it with a ghoul. One, two, three. 
One, two, three. I mean, this is iffy as well. Whoa! Not there. Whoa. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's like one dodge and a geofire. He hasn't even got block on that. Just call. double geofires. And it's next to the sideline. Yeah. This is. Yeah, I genuinely don't think he, he needs to be pushing I guess forward he's so much. Dodge for the wraith to base up there. Yeah. This is spicy as hell, Jimmy. I don't, I don't know if I like this. It's very spicy. Hello, Coach Mog. Um, there are, there are gals on both sides, aren't there? Yes. Yeah, uh, well, there's zombies. four goals on the undead. One of the goals is on the bench. He's got one blocker and two wrestle, and then the uh, necro have got a block one and a rookie one, and he's carrying on the rookie one. Oh, he's powered it. No. Who's he powered it with? The zombie. Zombie. So it's not even a dodge. Yeah. Mm. So now it's two two for a one D, and it's uh, one in three sack. Yep. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? With potential you got, you balls got, scatter into the crowd. You got to re-roll the hit as well. Oh, the Maybe problem is, is that for re-roll conservation yeah. purposes. Yeah, potentially. Uh, huge stun. Huge. That is actually a huge stun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tag this wolf because the thing is, you're going to go for the pickup, and you fail to pick up, you're going to get surfed. So I like doing the tag on the wolf before you do the blitz. Yeah. Little trick there. <laughs> Little trick. Little trick. Tag the frenzy piece before you go for the ball sack and fail to pick up and get your bludger surfed. <laughs> Pretty nice. Mm. He's thinking about probably whether to make this block right. Yes, it's a blockless block, but it is a mighty blow hit, which is pretty flipping good. A blockless block! He's not going for it. He does do the dodge for reroll conservation purposes. He doesn't get a full pow. He has to re-roll, I think. I, uh, yep. He think does. So. He does not do anything. That. Necro have 12 players total. The Undead have 13 players total. Oh, Bucky. Now you can get this guy up and maybe dodge to tag the other... Yep. A blockless block! Readers won't have to re roll this. Oh! So maybe he shouldn't have taken it. <laughs> now the wolf is going to race to a uh, relevance. Yeah, now he can blitz the zombie on the other wolf, and then he can run round with the ghoul, and he's got like a screen. Ish. Not really. I guess he'd have to dodge the bludger as well. Oh. He's got to stall this out. He can't be scoring now, surely. Surely you can't be serious. What he could do is he could uh, double GFI with this wolf to go there, then this wolf could dodge, search this ghoul, and uh, and then he's got like, you know, kind of, not much of a cage, but something. <laughs> oh, he's already blitzed, so he's not doing that. He's not scoring though. This guy can come a long way. Like a GFI and he makes a screen. A screen that traps the goo. So that's pretty nice, isn't it? That's, yeah, really nice. To make, it also makes it a 5 plus dodge out for the uh, blocker.
The problem that he's got is now the mummy is uh, is active. It's not even nice. <laughs> Why would you play? <laughs> Poor Menbert is a good name for Necro, isn't it? <laughs> hey, it's amazing because if you just didn't take the one D with the uh, white, none of this would have been possible. Yeah, that was that was a really costly score. I think, like obviously. Two times out of three make the dodge anyway. So it doesn't. Oh, mean that talking it's about one days. One day. oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, and he's KO'd himself. <laughs> I, d I think he's alright here though. Well, he's got. We've got to. We've got to wrestle. Wrestle Ghoul here. So we could 1D there. And then, you know, pow. And pow him, and then he can just go through and hit the ball. Or. Uh, that is going to be just stood up. Uh, yeah, but he could block with this Ghoul. Like, th this Wrestle Ghoul that was back here could hit the ball. But he's just played safe, which is, you know, a completely sensible thing to do. Yeah. When you're not playing, it's a lot easier to suggest the not sensible things, isn't it? You might just blitz the uh, Wraith with the Mummy on the free dice and then just tag with the Wrestle Girl. Gives him a 1 in 9 and then if he's he's going to be scoring then, isn't he? Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it's a dodge and a... Oh no, he's going no, that he's way. Not, he's not blitzing with a. So is he just going for the 5 plus 1D? Yeah. Or he can push him in as well, can't he? It looks like he's going for a 5 plus 1D though. Everyone else is activated. Everyone else. So yeah, he's, he's definitely going for the 5 plus 1D. And yeah, push him in. Yeah. But I mean, that's three turns back. Uh. Yeah. Or he could go 4 3. 1 2. Four, three. No, no, that's a 4 4, isn't it? No, no, no. No, no he's about to have got straight in. 5 plus 1. Dude. He Makes made the it! Dodge. Gets the Gets push. push. Only one reroll left. Oh, it yeah, sucks. Yeah, just, just take the early score. Gives himself three turns with a reroll. Does the wolf come back? Does the tackle? The wolf is out. The wolf is out, Jimmy. And so is the tackle. But there's a bench. So Necro are at 10, right? And uh, Undead are on 11. Yeah. Both missing key players. One re roll each. But the uh, the Undead do have all four gowls with one Yeah, re -roll. which they're going to need. They're going to need. <clears throat> they're not quite Dark Elves, Jimmy, but, you know, they'll do for now. Who is Dark Probably, Elves? Yeah. The problem is, I mean, just look at this Necro setup, like, how easy is it? Like, oh, actually, I think he should be tight LOS here because yes. you just knock over the guy in the middle and then you blitz the logical. Like, this should be tight LOS. There's no reason for this to be spaced LOS. I guess the idea is it being, like, you know, trap space because then both both fleshes will come in and stuff. But, uh... Yeah, I don't. I'm not a fan of this. Like, it's one of the, the best things of uh, Necro is that you got the... Like the two columns, and then on the sides you've got the side steppers and that. And then if you have the title OS, at least the. I mean, obviously, it just eats activations, and it can clog up that center stage. Yeah. Uh, whereas this, it's just you knock one over in the middle, and then just blitz the. Uh, the g g gow. Don't yeah. even need an assist. You got a mummy, then you get yourself a couple of scores. Like I, I don't even hate like scoring in two turns here. Well, like can, I know, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. like Necro is like Necro is so hard to to get past. Like maybe Seabors is playing it a bit more patient than I would. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. See, the thing is, the problem with this is I'm I'm greeting a load of hits here that we've without block because I want to get my white through. Oh my god! Where's that? It's a blitz. blitz. All of a sudden. And it's a really deep kick. Bright looks a genius. He only gets four players though. 
Minimum yeah. enough, please. He might even just click and turn. Nah, I think he'll at least like move the wraith over the centre, right? Yeah, I'd move a goal. I'd move the rookie goal behind the block goal, and then I'd click end turn. Mm. Thing is, if anything moves, then like you just weaken in your position, right? I don't know. I think that I think the uh, goal is so weak in the centre that I wouldn't mind reinforcing. He's super weak. Yeah. Well, I mean, he could just go, like go for two nil, game over, right? That's it. Looks like he is. He's got his two scoring threats in the other, in the opposing half. He's two unscorable scoring threats. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gets the. Okay, this is actually yeah. Uh, this is big trouble. And then tag the ball carrier. No, oh, the problem is his GFIs. You can't re-roll him, can you? Because it's a new blitz. No. Holy moly, this is looking really bad. Yeah, mate. Okay. It disregard everything I said. This is way better. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's with the the kick is horrendous, isn't it, for Seabros? Now Seabros just has to go full defensive and try and get out of the half and one nil down. It's about Oh, I used the wrestle. Yeah, I wouldn't have done that, I'd have blocked the block there and then free up the fast. <coughs> and then wrestled the goal. Wrestled the goal. And then but this is guard, the, right? the guard can go in there. The guard in there is a really good spot for the guard. Oh. Bros. Seabros needs to uh, study. Seabros has screenshotted the board state and then is uh, asking for a pause so he can figure yeah. it out. <laughs> just a joke, of course. Just a joke. No, we just got a DM from Seabros. <laughs> 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 What do I do, Timmy? What do I do? Oh, he wouldn't be asking me, would he? <laughs> <laughs> You're top of the Super League with two wins out of two. Wow. Is champ, it, champ, champ, champ. Well, is this Seabor's second game or third game? Second. Oh, okay. You're the champ, Tim. Only for another hour. Well, I guess if Bright well, steals a draw. The champ, but you're, you're leading. <laughs> Ask for Jimmy's number. Yeah, it's Jimmy free. <laughs> I'll be like, Jimmy just said he wouldn't have got surfed there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'd never get surfed. I'd be really dumb to set up to get surfed. Wouldn't uh, oh. <laughs> oh man, this is rough for Seabor. The blitz is like, it looks so good for him, and then it, like that blitz is just uh, really disappointing for Seabor. You'll feel hard done by. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it is a tricky turn. But, um... Yeah, I would have wrestled the goal because because the goal's got dodge. I feel like tagging the werewolf and blitzing the ghoul is better than vice versa. Mm. But the thing is, like by, by freeing the guard, it means you can put the guard in for the assist, which is pretty good. Well, I just want to leave. The, I just want to leave the wraith on a zombie. Like I'm fine with that. Yeah, but to hit the to hit the ghoul. You'd have to bring another ghoul around to there and then hit from there, right, to get two dice on him. Yeah. But how can you do that? I can't see Jimmy. There's a massive box saying pause in the way. Exactly, exactly, <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> Didn't I'm think of really... that, did you? Yeah. <laughs> Big floor in your reasoning there. <laughs> I would, well, yeah, I would have, like... Come round in front of the goal and blitz him from the side and pin him on the sideline. Yeah. Put myself in a surfable position, I guess. I think you've got to do a GFI to do that, but it's uh, it's probably. I mean, sometimes you have to do a GFI, right? Sometimes when it's a blizzard, you got molehills and you got a drunkard lino, <laughs> and you just have to do a GFI, Jimmy. <laughs> Two lots of molehills. You can have both coaches could roll. Yeah, double molehills. 
You got a seven plus geophyte to me. <laughs> and then you just fail it and say so you were diced. Exactly, that is the classic. That is the classic attitude that you need. Has he said? Is he? Is he? Like this isn't a port. This isn't like a disconnect, is it? Because it's, no, it's just a pause. Has he said anything? Tempesti yeah. said, "Mini Bros One has woken up." I take. So I guess that's. Oh, what it Mini is. Bros. Yeah, this kid. That blitz was just too much. Yeah, walking up. Maybe, maybe Seabros screamed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> ah! <laughs> woke up his oh, here you go. Fiance. Oh my God. He said that his fiance is freaking out over a bug. <laughs> <laughs> Be right back. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> if it's like I mean honestly it better be like you know a cockroach out of fallout or something <laughs> yeah it's probably like a tiny spider in it it's uh, probably like a tiny spider if it's a bug smaller than a dog it doesn't deserve getting freaked out does it it's probably him freaking out about a bug and he's, he's, he's <laughs> run to get his missus he's run yeah. to get his missus to help him out <laughs> I mean, the book's probably bigger than he is. Yeah, it probably is. I was gonna say it's probably like like eye level with him. <laughs> he might not come back to me. He might he might have been beaten. <laughs> Just lost two mates in ten minutes. Oh, I thought I'd unmuted. I, I, I muted because I was coughing my guts out and then I thought I'd unmuted. I'm not, I'm it's alright, Jim. I'm sure you didn't say anything of value. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Yep. <laughs> oh dear. Whoa, hello, Goliath. Oh, hello, Goliath. Dear. I didn't actually die. I didn't actually die. Don't worry. Not actually dead. Oh dear me. That was pretty funny though. So what happens if he has three more bug attacks? <laughs> then he's, uh, he's up shit creek. It must be like, how long does it take to sort this out? I mean honestly. He's like, mate, all these blood bowlers live in, like, mansions, don't they? And they're like, oh, I've, I've just got to pop to the kitchen. And then, like, a half an hour later, they come back. <laughs> uh, how big is your house? It's the kitchen in the West Wing. <laughs> <coughs> oh, God. No, he's saying go. I think we're nearly there, guys. Thanks for uh, staying patient with us. Yeah. Oh. Oh God. Sea bros. Yeah, sea bros. <laughs> to sea bros, and an everyday cockroach looks like the giant bug in in, in Starship Troopers. <laughs> yeah. Sea <laughs> bros out there celebrating like the guy. <laughs> So, 
so I think what he'll do is white in there and then this guy blitzes him okay no he's not in that case yeah oh he goes all around yeah so yeah no you're right you should have blocked with him should have blocked with him. yeah 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 should have blocked with him and then and then this guy could have gone one two three four five six bosh stick him on the sideline that's what I like yeah that's what I like because yeah. the problem is the goal if it doesn't do a geofy it's surfable no, he's just bits them all for it, yeah, so now he's not surfable. Mm. Oh, it's he's the got the armor break. And the removal. And the KO! And now... Now, Jimmy... It looks really good for Undead, apart from the fact that his only real scoring threat is the ghoul on the mummy. So... Instant bright blitz that ghoul, I guess. Depends on the pickup, doesn't it? If he makes the pickup ESC bros, he's not getting scored on probably. But if he fails the pickup, we could just see it's a cheeky one D pickup score. Oh he he can script Oh he didn't follow. See, I would have knocked the zombie up and left and then followed and then I would have brought the mummy around in front of the ghoul to screen Oh he just wants to shore up that side, yeah. yeah. It's so hard, isn't it? Because you gotta like now he's, that ghoul's just getting blitzed, right? The, the rest of the ghoul's getting blitzed and nobody else is going to score. Yes, yeah. If he, if he so that's just, first, yeah. yeah. This is, this, so it's like, it's like, yeah, you're doing the right thing by being conservative and making sure you don't just lose the game. <laughs> <laughs> but, but now you're looking at a draw rather than a win. And there's no guarantee you'll get a draw in the next half either. We could see a 4-3, 1-D pickup score. Nah, just blitz the rest of the ghoul. GG. Yeah, probably. Maybe even foul it. No, he stood the zombie up already. Mm. Oh, is he gonna? He's gonna 3D it? No, he can't, can he? He's 2D with a a blockless blocker. A blockless block. It's weird because if you got a blockless blitzer, you should have done it with a zombie, really, right? Maybe, well, maybe I think he might be doing one. he might be doing the four three one D. I think but he might be, just, yeah. yeah, it just seems it just seems like a way to mm, uh, yeah. Don't know about this, guys. Don't know about this. Now it's just like we're blitzing the zombie in the middle somehow, some way. Maybe even with wrestle, and then we're dodging that go through. Hang on, is there? Uh, there's no himself. right. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So right, this is something to take of note as well. Is bright doesn't have a scoring threat. Yes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Rush, rush. Ah, oh, he can't do the handoff. Nice. To well, do you know what? Do you know what? I blitz that zombie. Oh, he's got the he's got the safety goal, isn't he? Oh mm -hmm. God. Yeah, but I was going to say like isn't very good. So I think well, well yeah, so I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to blitz the zombie and then I'm going to dodge the ghoul through into scoring range. I'm going to hand off to the other ghoul and then I'm going to throw it to the wrestle zombie. You can blitz the zombie though right and power him and then and then you're laughing. But I guess a push is worse, isn't it? It's interesting. He's going that way. He needs a scoring threat and he's only going to get one of them and then they can get, get two. We can get two. This guy can double G if I you. Yeah. And probably has to. He's only got one reroll, so it's tough. He really needs to power that zombo, though. He does really power need to power it, yeah. He really needs to power it. He's got to do it with the goal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a rush as well. He's got to do it with the rookie goal. Actually, what he could do is this guy could come in and then he could uh, 2D him and see if he powers him. Oh, oh now the course getting tagged. Yeah. Instant, instant move to that. Rip. Rip. What? Whoa. I hate that side step. And that doesn't even close that side down, does it? No, I hate that side step. Oh no, it does, it does, it does. That is a screen between the Wraith and the Golem. So true, you can't true. run the wrestle glue through. Yeah, true, it is, yeah. But it's, it's probably better, to be honest. I don't know, I really liked basing that with the guy. Doesn't get the power. Oh, pow. What a mess. 
Now he's got no scoring threats. Sadness. Now he can uh, yeah, go in and assist, but he's assisted there rather than uh, anywhere else. He does get the power. No, he's not scoring, is he? He's not scoring. Yeah, he's oh, scoring I'm a break. Threat. This guy can still. He's got two scoring threats potentially, right? Double GFI from him and a dodge from him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Dodge GFI from him or double dodge. Either double dodge or dodge GFI and a double GFI from him. The problem is screening the ball. Um, I guess he has to block the mummy first to get under the fleshy. He hasn't done a G. Oh, he did both rushes. He's put them yeah. both in, right? I got rid of the dice rolling things, you know, like so that there's not a million dice flashing up all over the place. So yeah, yeah, do the G. Oh, now the mummy's on the bottom, which is like, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's yeah, pretty nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, G of five. Or what? Well, you can go one and then see if you pop dodge. I, don't, I didn't like stacking it. I think go yeah. one and see if you pop dodge. Right? <laughs> yeah. And if you do, yeah. if you've pop dodge, then you do a G of five. If you haven't pop dodge, you do the second dodge. See, the thing I like about this is it's got the two gaps between the ghouls. The thing I don't like is, I think, the wrestle ghoul. I guess he's closer to the ball, though. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, yeah. So, Bright should really blitz the wrestle, right? And then double tag the rookie. I think blitz the rookie because you can hurt him. Whereas with the... Yeah, but the wrestle ghoul... Is if you block the wrestle ghoul and wrestle him, then oh yeah 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 sorry. Also, if you done. push, you can push him out of range, whereas you can't push the wrestler out of range. So I think it's just like a push is a win versus this guy, right? Yeah. Push is a win versus him. So I think okay, Lloyd's just gonna blitz the ball. Yeah, but it's, he needs a pal. Yeah, it's wild, isn't it? Oh, no, doesn't get it. Yeah, well, he has to now. Doesn't get it. No power. Is this pushing him out of handoff range, though? Ooh, yeah, it's effectively. Glorious. No, I won't step, give so in until I'm victorious. Not impossible. And I will defend. I will defend. School's passing four Gina plus, right? Dim. Oh, he's made some big dodges, our bright he? Didn't he? <laughs> yeah. Double G. He has. He has. So is it four three? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, rush, four, rush, three, yeah. He can, he can do four three, but yeah, he can clear the he can clear the goal as well, isn't he? So you just you just although it's an awkward angle. Oh no, you just hit with the mummy and then you just bits with the Oh wow. Yeah, that was right. Yep. Jimmy so, and Dimmy, thank you very much. J Barza staying fantastic for thirty glorious months. Thank you very much. Two and a half years. Or seven and a half beaver pregnancies. Take your pick. <laughs> what a leg end. So, I think we free dice with the mummy in the middle, and then we blitz with the zombo on the GFI, and then we do the no, four three. No, Dimmy. What? You can blitz with a wrestle. We've got we've got a wrestle ghoul here. We can blitz oh, with yeah, block. Quick. Never mind wrestle. Yeah. We can blitz with block. One, two, yeah. Three, all right. Four, all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Come on, Dan Brav. Can't. It was the pause, right. mate. It was the pause. <laughs> the attack with the giant bugs. It just freaked me out. <laughs> I've, lost, I've lost my head. <laughs> lost my head. There's also some kind of maybe he's uh, chain here to get the ghoul out. Um, yeah, but then you're not you clearing the, the handoff, though, are you? No, but if it stops you doing a 4-3, like, you know, if you, if you stop both dodgers... Then having a four handoff and a three dodge is, is better, isn't it? Than a four three. Yeah, but the problem is, it's because the wraith is sidestep. If you're chaining him, you have to chain him backwards. Yeah. Which is no good because then you have to throw a pass. Well, no, I mean you'd have to clear, you'd have to block with this one to clear the to see what happened to the wraith first. Like hopefully pow him. If he didn't pow him, where would he go? Like there, Nobody guess, knows. Jim. Yeah, I guess Nobody there that knows. would make it harder. But then you could Mate, follow, and then you could clear the goal. So. If C if Seaball scores here, there are three huge KO rolls for Bright. Massive, yeah. Yeah, 
Otherwise, he might he might just walk this. Mm. Huge four, huge three, four yep. three two two three two two. Yep. One reroll. And there's no there's only one two at the end. Only one two at the end. He's, no, made, oh, he's made the dodges. He's made the dodges. Oh, oh he's failed the rush. He's made the rush. He's made, he's made the, the handoff. Hand one dice away. Two plus. One one. He's, done he's it. made it. He's made it. That mm. is champion form. It is. And only one wolf comes back. So bright again. Ten players. This really, is looking yeah. like a sea brawls win, isn't it? I mean, what did he roll on the uh, uh, on the goal with the ball? He rolled push pow push pow on it. So like so, there weren't a both down there, was there? So no. for the wrestle ball, because I was thinking he shouldn't have blitzed the ball. He should have blitzed the wrestler. No, I, th yeah. I think you blitzed the <coughs> one who was just in range, and then yeah. and then like have three players on that guy, and it would have been much harder if he had like three players on this one. Than like one, yeah, because he was nine away. So you, just a push is good enough versus him, right? A push removal. Yeah. So it was just it was basically guaranteed to remove the blockless one, and then gang up on the other guy. Two KO, stay out. But so then you know you were right the turn before that if he had uh, if he'd hit the wrestler the turn before, then uh, that would have. Yeah, I would have just hit the wrestler the turn before, and then yeah. it's job done, isn't it? Yeah. Then there's then there's only the 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 skillless ghoul in range, and then you just hit him with block, and then yep. So Bright was a little bit greedy going for the four three one D, but. You know, obviously he failed his 75% dodge instantly, whereas Seablos made all of his dice rolls. So there's a lot of dice rolls in it. I, I didn't completely hit uh, right going for the ball sack, but it was it was tough that he needed a power that made it very unlikely, didn't it? He was like, he was so it was so unlikely for him to work. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah the thing that you need to power. I would have been I would have been happy with one nil half time. He's got it against him now. He's missing a werewolf, right? Which, yeah. When you when you look at the TV of the teams, that's mm -hmm. really like hit the net crow. That's like 115k, is it something like that? Player. 145. Oh, because of the block as well, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's a, that's like a big amount of TV you're missing. It is, yeah. Yep, and just fully down as well because he's only got. Um, He's only 11. got 10 players. Is it 10, 10 players? Oh, yeah, cool. Zero, zero. Nice screen here. <clears throat> yeah. The wolf's on, wolf's on the opposite side, so you can even screen the sideline. Glorious. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, rolling a push on a mummy free dice makes me <laughs> sick, Jim. It <laughs> makes me sick, honestly. It does, yeah. It makes me sick, too. And the tackle has come back, so he's going to tackle that gowl in the middle. Oh, well, the problem is, oh, yeah, so he's putting him in to get the 3D. Yeah. Gets the pal Jimbo. Yeah. Yes, Dimbo. Jimbo. Jimbo Jones. And that means that the, the gowl can come back to cover no, the ball. No, no, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah, gowl comes back, cover the ball. Zombie goes in for the assist. Yeah. Kapow, kablam, slam him with a tackle. Yeah. And then, oh, my God, I love Blood Bowl. <laughs> this is actually perfect as well because he gets to go in there, which means he can blitz from here, power him to there, and then come back as well. Oh, hang on. Oh, he's picked Ooh, up the ball. Right. Sort of pick up first. I think he had to because the Wraith on the right, the Wraith on the right, mm. could have done some shenanigans and based the ball. Yep. Yep. Sensible safety first from Bright. Oh, that's managed to so control himself. That's well, not Bright, was it? It was safety yeah. first from Seabrows. Managed to control himself from seeing that that ghoul ready to hit him with tackle. I would have fouled the Roger, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Just being like, I'm not going to pick it up anyway. <laughs> Where are the knobs? No knobs. Alright. Two stunned zombies as well. Gets the pal. 
floor does Stays not... on the field. Stays on the field. Honestly, Clory is going to do so much more than this tomorrow. <laughs> it's yeah. like, I'm taking notes. How do you beat Necro? And it's just like, just don't get hit by... Look, just where every time you get hit by Claw, just making sure it does absolutely nothing. <laughs> yep. Try to limit their claws as much as possible. Yeah, the mummy got hit a load. Yeah. But, he, you know, he, he, he hit the wolves every chance he got, didn't he? And yeah, uh, KO'd one. Well, yeah. KO'd two. One well, no, one of them KO'd themselves, didn't they? He did the 1D skull into skull and KO'd himself. Yeah, true. But still. But still. But still. It's going to free, free dice the Wraith here. Yep. I like it. Safe moves first. What, what? What, what? Gets the pal. This could be a huge removal. Too scared to follow. Yeah, I wouldn't follow that. I'm not mental. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure about that? No, I'm 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 well aware that I am completely mental, yes, Jeremy. <laughs> well, as long as you know. Yeah, I'm completely aware. I'm crazy. <laughs> oh. Oh, mummy oh. blitz. Hmm. Uh, not sure. Maybe you just go for the uh, uphill, like the frenzy trap, right? The fr the uphill frenzy trap wolf blitz into the mummy, just because if it works, it works. Like I don't even hear that now, right? He could have chafed with a with a fleshy, and then just gone for the two into uphill and just said. Uh, These wrestle goals are doing absolute work, actually. Yeah. It's me slagging off wrestle goals, and they've been amazing. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, he's scold and defender stumbled every time he's hit all of them, so it's like, it's not like <laughs> a block one would have been any worse. True. Oh, 3D with a mummy? Yeah, just 3D race all day. I mean, it's a 2+, plus, but if he gets one, pretty yeah. huge. Yeah, I like it. Gets a power again. Needs a 9 plus, so he needs an 8. Mm. You get that quite a lot of the time. 42%. Gets it. Oh. And he's gone. And now it's looking super sexy for Seabulls. Super and, sexy. And he gets to uh, 2D a golem with Mighty Blow here as well. Yeah. Gets the power to go up, man. I wish he didn't make it look. I wish he didn't make it look so easy. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna look horrendous tomorrow. Oh my god. I was kind of hoping Seaports would just get crushed, and then I could be like, "See, it's just an impossible matchup." <laughs> no. I mean, Bright's in a position where he kind of has to like throw bodies in just because he's behind and yeah, you know, like you're saying, Necro a snowbally team, and he's not snowballing. No, he's trying to snowball in uh, the middle of summer. Yes. <laughs> full pal, full pal, a full pal. Does chip? Oh no, just a stun. Who's he blitzing? He's got a few hits here though, to be fair to him. Not many though, it's rough in it. Quah, hero zombie, ball base, GG Jimbo. Yeah, I don't like the. No, okay, did, I don't like. I don't like allowing the ball base here from Seabros. You know, he could have just been the square back. It wouldn't have. He's not based. He's not based. I know, but he could have been. He could have been. Yeah, he could have been Jim. He could have been. the ball base. I didn't like allowing the ball base. In. 
I'm not sure why he didn't follow there, because he had the zombie tagging the ghoul from the rear. That was a good turn from Bright. Yeah, yeah. Well, he rolled a load of pals and uh, got a stun. Yeah, battling away down players. Helps, helps. It does, doesn't it? Alright, it's a blitz of rookie goal. Yeah, I like that a lot. Power two golems. Got a full cage. Just screed it while he'd rather than full cage. X cage. Well, no, he's gonna he's gonna step left and then he's gonna use the zombie to do the back right. Yeah, just there's no need, right? You could have just had a the, the, yeah, like, yeah, like this. You don't need a full cage. You just need. Oh, uh, okay. But you could have already uh, had that there, right? The uh, the zombie could have moved there. there. The zombie could have moved to there already. Which I would have preferred. Two mummies, two pals. Let's go. Oh, the plim plum push. Oh. Oh. for MOP. Yeah. If only they had Fend as well. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if we'll see. I wonder if we'll see something uh, a bit rowdy now from Sea Browse. From Bright. From Bright. I've got these totally the wrong way around, <laughs> by the way. I just play, keep doing I don't it. Play. Yeah, I, I, I've done it a couple of times as well. Don't. I forgive you, Jim. It's alright. It's alright. Just don't say it anymore. <laughs> I'll try. Oh, oh, that's the first chain. We are going to see something sexy. Oh, the werewolf goes... Oh no, the wraith goes in. The wraith goes in, yeah. Yeah, that was sexy. Gets the pal into 2D on the ball. Is it 2D? It he's is. got a... Oh no, he's got a guard there. Uh, well, he can, he can GFI to tag this ghoul. One, two, three, four. Yeah, double GFI to tag the ghoul. This is all part of Seaboard's plan. <laughs> That's what he's saying with this emote. Yeah, he can double GFI. Yep. Oh, up. no. Yeah. Would you? Yeah. I think he will, because I think he's a bit desperate. I think don't think he should, but I think he will. Yeah. Yep, gets the pal. Oh. oh, my God. See, like, this is this is just a clear example that Necro completely dominate the undead matchup. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I thought you'd call it. <laughs> yeah, I like honestly, there was just that one. T it was the last. It was the turn before last. It was very good from Bart. Yeah. And then, I mean, like I say, a lot of it was just rolling pals, but. Yeah, that was a really nice. That was a really nice chain. I like that. So that even if, even if something happens, you can, uh, you'll be all right. It's the pal. Oh wow! And he done all this without the blitz as well. Yeah, Holy yeah. shit! Oh my god! Snow. Removal. Three no, plus. No apple for sea bros. <laughs> Three plus. Gets it. Oh my god! Don't go on the sideline. Oh, the tackle's right there. One, two. Wolf can maybe try and stop it. He needs to. Reroll this, surely. Surely. Yeah. Is that enough? One. That's not enough. <gasps> oh my the God! He was the fish dodge. That's enough. Yeah. Well, not really. Yeah, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he can dodge double GFI. One D. And well, he can get one of these off. Oh my god, I thought that like, I was already, like when the Wraith went, I was like, this is done, like, this is done. He did turn it around, oh. yeah, great stuff from Bright. Yeah, what a shambles, a shambling undead. Oh, very good. Yeah, keeps a intelligent guy, is not he? He is, yeah. 
<laughs> Sea Bros versus Brighton. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sea Bros is the undead team and Bright is the necro team. And Hello, Cock. Intelligent is a bit funny. Yeah. Do we do do we do the wrestle dodge first to give you the assist? I, I think he has no, to, block right? One, the block one gives you the assist. Yeah, wrestles, this is... wrestles trapped. Oh my god, he gets the dodge, gets the cheat. Uh, I mean, I mean the the wrestle that was next. He gets the pow into the oh. crowd. Or does he go up? Should not have stood in Chun's column. Yeah. It was weird. He's dead. He's not dead. Oh, that... Actually, <laughs> saves him from being surfed, doesn't it? If he'd been dead, yeah. he could have got surfed. <laughs> I mean, it's still looking like a draw. 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 I don't know. I don't know. This is awkward. This is awkward. This is Bright is down a lot of players, so this is still very tricky for Bright. So what turn is this? This is 13, so you still got three turns after this. Yeah. Do you run these? Do you run these surf the blodge goal? Yes. Yeah, I think I think that's what I do. Yeah. And then tag tag the tackle, and then one in. Oh God, I don't even know. I don't even know, Jim. <laughs> All I know is I'm 1D and surfing that bludger. Yeah. Oh, maybe you're not, because... Uh, maybe you're not. Oh, I st yeah, still am, mate. Still am. Well, probably should have protected, protected the bludger. Oh, no, he couldn't get through there, could he? Well, not without making multiple dodges. Oh, that was like, that was a proper, like, mad couple of turns. Yeah, yeah, instant surf now. And, uh, he needs to get his goal in the game. He could get his flesh in the game, right? That would be pretty good. The fleshy could come in here. He could, like, he could blitz this goal and then get the fleshy in there. It's pretty good. Yeah. And then, what, the zombie behind him? Yeah. Then that's... He's doing it. He's, He's doing just, it, Jim. Just a block. It's just a block. Uh, yeah, I, I really just want to surf the blodge goal. Yes, I mean, I would really, really want to do that. Yeah, uh, just get rid of him. Because then it means you've got a much better chance. Oh, it... oh, I think... oh he's doing it that way, so it gets... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Oh, God, oh no. Oh, I guess the oh, push. That'll do. <coughs> Bosh. Flat. He needs to dodge his own ghoul out now. Yeah, yeah, it's imperative that he gets that ghoul out. And then he needs to dodge the wraith after that. I don't know know the, race, the, race, the race occupying things, I don't I don't hate the race staying there. I think he has to get the gal out. Mm. What a mad game. They are the starter, it's the uh, it's the Super League where everybody is top top tier, like Dimmy G. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> He failed the dodge there. Yeah, I wouldn't have done that. Quad ones. Quad ones. I Not mean, top, if you're gonna... top, top player. Very silly yeah. rolling quad ones. But at least half of them were on the AV. <laughs> but yeah, nothing I mean, this, was going to work. This isn't easy for Seaports because, uh, like, it's three against three next turn. And like, if he picks up the ball on the goal, where's he go? He's not going anywhere, is he? Really? Like, it's. I mean, the good news is that um. Oh, he's just gonna punch there. Punchy, punchy. Seaboss does have three rerolls to to Bright's none. Bright's got none. Yeah. So that's a big diff. A rinse. Oh. 
with the uh, bit sad. Uh, everybody, Stradica. Everybody. Doesn't free zombie. Oh, it doesn't freeze mummy, sorry. Mm -hmm. Lovely bit of sidestepping from the rear. <laughs> oh. Mummy frees itself by having mighty blow. This is one of those situations where maybe ending turd isn't so bad, right? Letting Letting your opponent do things. Because he's got yeah. more heroes. Like rather than freeing it's up that rather than freeing up that fleshy, right? You could just one in nine. And the fleshy's just free for free. Free for free. But instead he gets the pow and the AV break. Zebra's too good at Yeah, and now he gets to hit the zombie and he can fill the screen. Do you just do the? Yeah, yeah I like that. Like that yeah, he has to do it. Then. It's, just, it's just a push. Card follows. Is, and needs to keep the ghoul yeah. locked down. This is looking real good for Seabor, isn't it? I yes. guess the ghoul, <laughs> the ghoul is free. The ghoul, the ghoul, the necro ghoul is free at the top. Yeah. The blood run. So he needs to get up and get out of range of being based. For just four plus dodge from the fleshy. For me. For me, I Blazer. Mean, what, else, what else are you gonna do? I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's the only thing that makes sense, really. Just for me. I mean, you could blitz this guy and then, like, you know, be basing the ball with fleshy. Yeah. Fleshy, but yeah. Not that good is it? Uh. Don't know, Jim. This is really tough. It is. If I had a reroll, I'd definitely do the four plus, but I don't know. I just can't see anything else you do being good enough. No, oh, but maybe I guess. The fact it's one one and Zero's only got two more turns. You know, there's something well, the thing, said. the thing I'm thinking, the, the thing I'm thinking is, I need to go uh, for it. I like do you it. know what? I would have blitzed the zombie um, on the top right hand side of the ghoul and pushed him to the middle, like mm -hmm. up, and then I would have stepped the golem in between the two ghouls. Then I would have done the two dice with the zombie on the wrestle. Trying to make him just potato because the, the, the rest of his team is not fast enough to protect the ball and get him into range. Yeah, I guess. And then and then yeah, just hope that the one D on him, when the inevitable one D was going to be good enough. But yeah, it's really tough. Yeah. Plus, like the dodge gives your yourself the best win chances, right? If this works and you knock him over or. Um, you know, even just sandwich him. At least then next turn you'd have these two guys to come back into it and stuff. So like, uh, Bright's player gave Bright the best win chances for himself. But yeah, maybe yeah. not the best draw chances. Well, this goal needs to be in scoring range next turn. And that zombie's not gone far enough. <laughs> no, he might have to double GFM. Yeah. Got three rerolls. Oh, the mummy can double GFI? Yeah, the mummy can double GFI. That's not really. Yeah, but then the ghoul can get around the front, right? Like. Yeah, he's gonna have to. He's gonna have to tag the ghoul if he can. And then this ghoul could double GFI to stand next to. Yeah, so this ghoul can double GFI next to him. And this guy can single GFI and make an eye cage. Or double GFI and have the card in front. Yeah. Yeah, there we 
door. We've got the eye cage. Is the push enough? The push isn't enough, I take it, no. No. If this wolf could teleport to here though, and then have loads of players to fill it, he could get the double push back. <laughs> but uh, no, he's, he's pretty much over for sea bros. I mean, he can uphill. You can uphill the ball. Bright. Got block. Sorry for Bright. Oh my god. Why is it so hard to tell? Does it help if they're red and blue? Maybe. I kept it on because, you know, like, they were distinguished. They are red right? and blue. <laughs> I know, yeah, they already are red and blue, but, like, it's not it's not that blue and it's it's not that red, right? So I, I thought I'll leave it off being red and blue. But it's, uh. It's hard work. Yeah, the only player that Bright has is this zombie ghoul, whatever it's called. Bright ghoul. One, two, three, four, five. That's all he can do, isn't it? That's literally all he's got. Uphill. With blocks. It's like a one in nine to get him down. Possible, though. Well, it's two one in nine, so we've got to dodge first. Yeah, it's about 10% to get him off. Made the dodge. And he scolds. Just a GFI with two rerolls. No chains. Obviously, no point blocking anybody else. He might do some kind of touchdown dance. He has been known to, hasn't he, uh, C Bros? Maybe he's contemplating a jump over the dead body. He's not, he is doing the touchdown dance. Oh my god, failed a GFI. Did he give himself an extra he GFI did, as well? He did, yeah, he did. What a dirt bag. Oh wow. What wow. an absolute dirt bag. <laughs> what a dirt bag. Wow. Wow. I'll tell you what, see, bros, he hasn't, like, no, it hasn't been a comedy mega dicing or anything, but like, all of the little things have gone his way, haven't they? Like, not you know, not to, not to disparage him, but do, do you know what I mean? Like the the chaos not coming back, and the uh, you know like his one in four dodge, uh, well seventy five percent dodge working, and bright seventy five percent dodge failing and stuff. It's like it seems like a lot of little things have gone Seabro's way, but you know they but they both played well. I felt like you know, not not disparaging him, not yeah, disparaging his coaching, but. Uh, so some people get upset when you say things like that, don't they? Like I remember, I remember Guinness <coughs> from the World Cup when I said he'd got lucky in his games. He was upset, but like, of course he did. No one's gonna win this without getting lucky, are they? Yeah, Bright did really well to nearly nick it, and then yeah, unfortunate. He Interesting though. The one turn. Yeah, he could try the one turn here, couldn't he? He could he could do the uh wolf hit into hit and then he could blitz himself through. You know, Go for it. Obviously very unlikely to work, or he can like blitz back into the whole method, like he's got lots of options here. Yeah, I think he might blitz back into the whole method. And gets in the three right, so that this wolf hits him back to this guy knocks it, knocks him to there, this guy knocks him to there, and this guy knocks him there. And there's no dodges for the wolf, so yeah. Correct play from Bright here, but no re rolls, so it's going to be very, very, very difficult. But they will all be three dices apart from the first two, which is just he's not going to get the first two to be three dices. Oh, maybe he will, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. Don't think so. You can make it a two into a three. He needs like three pushes, doesn't he? Yeah, well he needs like five, right? Cause he needs two yeah, to get him in position and then. and then three forward. 
So it's very, I mean, even if he had three rerolls, this would be unlikely, but at least he's done, you know, he's got the right setup. Should have the, uh, should have a wraith here. Should have had a wraith here, set up here. Oh, <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter. Unless he catches it. Yeah, solid defense. Solid defense. Oh, and he hasn't tagged the mummy. Mummy comes straight across. Yeah. <laughs> Just pushes him back a square. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh yeah. my god. So, so Bright should have had the Wraith here, right? So that he could have pushed him to there, then pushed him into the Wraith, who then like sidestepped to here. So it would have been an, an instant fill without having to do anything. So that's a, a slight optimization that. Oh, yeah, check that out. Mm. Pretty sexy, Jim. Thanks, Tim. Well done, mate. Thanks. I'm alright at one turns, you know, despite like never playing races that can do them. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen you one turn. Oh, I guess you played high elves a bit. I don't know if I saw any there. I've done high elves and wood elves, but yeah, not not a lot. I scored one with dark elves and uh, your um, your, <laughs> your blood bowl two days were. A most, bit before my time. I was mostly chaos as well. I was mostly just killing things with chaos. Man, I hate that the watching a game doesn't come up with a post-match screen. I absolutely, I can't believe how much I hate that. One day we will get through a game without you saying that. One day. It's just so annoying, isn't it? Why is it not taking the post-match screen? <laughs> yeah, GGC boys and Lucky Bright and uh, great game. Enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. It's a solid game. Yeah, yeah, I thought they both played well. Um, I did. I mean, I did think Seabros edged it on the look, but he probably edged it on the play as well, right? Like as you said, Seabro uh, uh, Bright could have been a bit more, a bit more safe on on the defensive drive there, couldn't he? And he probably could have got out with this, the draw if he'd blitz that. If he'd blitz that wrestle. The wrestle. So there you go. Um, but yeah, good GG. Well done both. Congrats, Seabros. Congratulations, Bright. Thank you very much, Dimmy. Being great having you in the booth. Yeah, no worries. I mean, like, it's hard to say because if he gets the power on those four dice and knocks the bludger over, then he probably stops the score that way as well. But yeah, hard one, tough one. Thanks. Yeah, and he gave himself win chances as well, didn't he? By by counter score chances, so that, that, that's something as well. Yeah. Well, not at the not at the last, not on the turn eight. No, <laughs> the turn he... before. The turn seven is when he, is when is when. Oh he yeah, 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 the yeah, wrestler, yeah, yeah, wasn't yeah. It? Um, so yeah, there you go. Yeah. Right. Thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.